What is a narcissist and what is narcissistic personality disorder? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And welcome back to another video where this week I am diving into different mental illnesses. And today I wanna to talk about narcissistic personality disorder. Now I am thinking about doing more videos around this but real quick, little rant, uh, like it, it bothers me that so many people, like there, there's a stigma around narcissists, right? And like we have to understand like mental illness is mental illness is mental illness. It's kind of like when we look at addiction, right? Like it doesn't matter if they're a heroin addict or if they're an alcoholic. Like it doesn't matter if you struggle with depression or if you struggle with narcissistic personality disorder. These are all mental illnesses. And at some point we have to try to develop some compassion. Like most people who are narcissists don't like being being narcissist. So do me a favor, do me a favor. This is my buddy, Ryan Liberty. Ryan Liberty is a fellow mental health YouTuber and he has a ton of videos, a ton of videos on different personality disorders. He's very well versed in narcissistic personality disorder and he has so much empathy for him and he's been doing a lot of videos about relationships and he's actually been affected by narcissists in his life. So for a guy like him to still have love and compassion for people who have hurt him just because he understands they're struggling with a mental illness, like that that is amazing and I think he is such a great example and such a great role model. So please, 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 if I have ever provided you with any value on my channel, go check out his channel, give him a subscribe, say I sent you over and check out his videos about narcissist personality disorder. Um, he also does a lot of videos about how to deal with them and stuff like that, but he's been doing a lot of uh, relationship videos. So I've been trying to get him to come do a guest video over here, but he's a really busy guy. So maybe he'll come uh, help me out when I do my relationship week. All right, but anyways, so today, Today, we're going to be using this little guy, all right? This is the Diagnostic Statistical Manual. So those of you who do not know what this is, the DSM-5, this is what doctors, therapists, psychiatrists, this is what medical professionals and mental health professionals use to diagnose mental illnesses. So we're gonna go out of this book and read the nine symptoms of narcissistic personality disorder. Now, quick disclaimer, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a doctor. Chances are, if you're watching this, you're not either. So if you can relate or identify to these symptoms, there is help, there is treatment available. So talk to your therapist, talk to your doctor. If you do not have a therapist yet, go ahead and check out the info down below in the description. I will put a link to BetterHelp. BetterHelp is affordable online therapy. Basically, you fill out a little questionnaire, they link you up with a licensed professional who can help you out understanding what you're going through and they can help you on a path towards healing. So like I said, it's very inexpensive expensive, so if you need help with your mental health, go ahead and check out the link to BetterHelp in the description below, all right? But let's jump into it. So in order to be diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, you need five or more of these symptoms. So symptom number one, has a grandiose sense of self-importance. So this is somebody who thinks, like, they think they're better than everyone, right? And like, this is something like, by the way, I didn't include this in my rant, but we throw around the, the word narcissist like, all the time, just all the time, all willy nilly, right? But this is somebody who thinks they're above everybody else, okay? A lot of self-importance, all right? Symptom number two is preoccupied with fantasies of unlimited success, power, brilliance, beauty, or ideal love, all right? So they they have this these ideas, oh, they're so successful, they're so great, everything is awesome, um, and they think very, very highly of themselves. They puff their chest out a lot, right? Now, um, something I need to do more videos on, but Ryan has some on it, like a lot of it comes from insecurities for very good reasons, all right? So symptom number three, believes that he or she is special and unique and can only be understood by or should associate with other special or high status people or institutions. So these are people like, man, this is something that uh, a lot of people struggle with in general. Like even if you're not a narcissist, like you might be able to identify with some of these symptoms, but people, they believe they are so unique and so special. Nobody understands them, nobody gets them. Like, oh no, I'm not a narcissist. You just don't get it. You just don't get me. You just don't get the, the path I'm on. You don't get my greatness. And like, they believe that they should be part of certain social circles. And it kind of leads into some of these next symptoms about entitlement, all right? So 
Symptom uh, number four, requires excessive admiration. So it's always me, 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 look at me, look at me. Like, this is a person where you're having a conversation with them and maybe you're saying like something you accomplished or you had a great day and they're one-upping you, right? Like they want you to love them, know how great they are, you know what I mean? All right, so symptom number five, has a sense of entitlement, all right? So it, all, it gives an example, it says, unreasonable expectations of especially favorable treatment or automatic compliance with his or her expectations. So like, everything should be the way they want, right? Very entitled, when things don't go their way, they can snap, they can lose it. Like, you need to treat me like the king or queen that I am, all right? I, everything I am owed, you know what I mean? So, symptom number six is interpersonally exploitive, all right? Takes advantage of others to achieve his or her own ends. So like, this is another reason why the word narcissist gets thrown around everywhere. Like some people are just bad people, okay? Some people are backstabbers, liars, manipulators, and stuff like that. But narcissists will use and abuse people, okay? They will, they will try to use you as an end to their means, all right? So uh, symptom number seven, lacks empathy, is unwilling to recognize or identify with the feelings and needs of others. So like, when you're sitting, when you're propping yourself up on this type of pedestal, like, you don't care who you're walking all over or who you're affecting or who you're making feel bad. Again, this is that, that sense of entitlement. So maybe being at a restaurant and freaking out on the waitress or something like that and you're just belittling them. You know what I mean? And you're not connecting with the fact like this, this feels bad, this makes people feel bad. But you don't care because you're owed so much, all right? So, symptom number eight is often envious of others or believes that others are envious of him or her. So this is the type of person who's always like, who believes that all the haters out there, they're just jealous. They're just jealous, they wish they were me, they're just jealous, I'm beautiful, I'm great, I'm awesome, I'm successful, and all these other things. And it's kind of a delusional thought. But uh, on the flip side of it, they might also be a hater too, where if anybody is above them, they figure out ways to kind of, uh, you know, uh, make point out all their flaws and their mistakes. You see what I'm saying? So they are the the all great, all powerful, and all everything like that. So symptom number nine shows arrogant, hofty behaviors or attitudes. All right. So like this, it's it's this. It's more than confidence, right? It's that cockiness, okay? Because I'm so great, I'm unique, I'm special, and all this other stuff. So like, it's this extreme arrogance. Like, you can just see it, like, or feel it exuding, right? That they're much better than everybody else and they can get whatever they want and all these other things, all right? So like, again, those are the nine symptoms, but you gotta realize, like, uh, again, narcissists don't like being narcissists. Most of them push friends, push family away. You know, it's hard for them to maintain relationships because sooner or later people figure it out and it's very hard, you know what I mean? And part of this uh, personality disorder is never thinking that you're at fault. So this is why working with a therapist is very, very beneficial because you start to catch yourself and understand what's happening. Things like dialectical behavioral therapy can help when you acknowledge the thoughts or the feelings that are running through you and then you have the chance to switch. So you can start to respond rather than react to situations. And it starts to help you foster better relationships with other people as well as better relationships with yourself. So if you can identify with some of these symptoms and if you feel like it's hurting your life and your relationships, again, go talk to a doctor, talk to a therapist, check out the description below if you're interested in checking out BetterHelp. All right, but before I let you go, again, do me a favor and go check out Ryan Liberty's channel. I will leave it down in the description as well in the comments below. Like, go check out his channel, show him some love, go subscribe, educate yourself, and understand what it's like to be empathetic towards people who struggle from any mental illness, no matter what, all right? But I would also like to hear from you. So if you have any comments, if you feel like you've struggled with this, or you've been diagnosed with this, or you've interacted with any, like, I do wanna start getting some feedback on this, because I really do wanna make some videos about how we need to start empathizing with people of all sorts of mental illnesses, all right? So make sure you leave a comment down below, okay? But that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Click that little round subscribe button. And a big thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And if you would like to help support my message of spreading hope, please be sure to click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? So thanks so much for watching. Go get diagnosed, and I'll see you next time.